Greetings once again. This is Drew. Well, no, this is not Drew. I'm Drew. This is the Stipula Silver Touch Ventidu pen. And we're going to take a look at it. Boop, 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 boop. This is not the first time I've seen this. I have seen it before. Um, we had a version very similar to this called the Gold Touch. And if you can imagine, it was the same thing, but with gold instead of silver flakes. So perhaps you saw it. Perhaps you were like, well, Drew, that's neat, but gold is just a little bit too ostentatious for me. So here you have it, the Silver Touch, which is less ostentatious, I think, anyway. The silver kind of blends in more to the hardware Chilling out inside of the acrylic there, we've got, uh, you know, some metal hardware as far as the grip section, the inner cap, the piston unit, all that can be seen. And all of that is also silver. So anyway, you've got the trademark stipula leaf here above the clip. Um, no finials or anything like that. Piston knob. And you've got a clear ink window. It says stipula. And it does say the number. This one's a 239 out of 300. Firenze, made in Italy, which this pin is made in Italy. Uh, cap wise, let's see, how many did that take me? Mm, I'd say about a one full rotation, maybe even three quarters. I don't know. It's not a lot. It's definitely not a lot. You can, you can get this thing in and out pretty quick. And there you have the pen. There you have the nib. It's got your standard leaf icons there in the stipula logo with Firenze written vertically, leafiness everywhere as per stipula. Calm down. And it is a piston pen. So uh, crank this thing and boom, it is a little tight. I'll say that um, just because this thing is uh, metal, you know, you don't get a lot of grip to it. So it kind of feels, it probably feels more tight than it is actually. It's probably not as much tight as it is not grippy, but either way, I mean, you can see it's, it's, you can get it done. It's not difficult. Um, and there you have it. Not a whole lot else to say. Uh, weight wise, it's not heavy. It's you know, it got a piece of metal in it, so it's about what you'd expect. Posted, it balances a little bit better, I think, but really, I don't think it really matters. I don't find a tremendous difference either way. But it's going to write just like any other steel nib, stipula pen. If you've written with a European steel nib, you've pretty much got a good idea of what you're in for. And there you have it. If you want any more information, we'll have some up on the product page at goulaypens.com. Just check it out if you want to know more. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure. Talk to you later.